In this unit, we are going to learn how to upload a SWOT model in SWOT Share. In order to do that, you need to have a SWOT model already created. And we did that in module 8. So we have the cedar underscore SWOT. And these are all the files that were created as a part of that module. So in order to share this model in SWOT Share, we are going to zip everything up. So you can select all the files inside cedar SWOT or you can just select cedar SWOT and zip it. So I'm going to zip this file. So even though we zipped all files, if you don't have all the files for another project, you should at least have the scenarios folder. That is what SWOT share uses to extract some metadata and get the output information. So we have this cedar underscore SWOT. It is zipped now. So what we are going to do next is we are going to launch SWOT share and upload this model. So let's go ahead and do that. You can access SWOT share by going to mygeohub.org. So within mygeohub, there are multiple platforms. So the platform that we want to use is WaterHub. So if you click on WaterHub, you will see SWOT share. So you click on SWOT share, and this is what you get. In order to upload SWOT model in SWOT share, you should have a login information and you should be signed in. If you do not have a sign in on mygeohub.org, you can request a sign in and create an account. So that process is explained in a handout that is available to you with this module. So once you launch SWOT share from waterhub.org, you want to use this button that says launch tool. Now, before we launch tool, let's understand what SWOT share is. As the text says, SWOT share is a platform for sharing of SWOT models. You can also run simulations. Uh, in QSWOT module, we learn how to run a normal simulation. So what we want to do also is calibrate that model and SWOT share has tools to perform auto calibration. You can also visualize SWOT results. So we did look at some visualization tools in QSWOT. SWOT share also has some unique visualization tools that you can use. And in addition to that, it, it is a collaborative platform. So if you want to share a SWOT model with a friend or a colleague, you can both have account on SWOT share and you can work on that model collaboratively using SWOT share. So let's launch the tool. And after you launch the tool, this is what you will see. So if you click on discovery, discovery will show you all the locations where other people have shared their SWOT model. So you can see there are a lot of existing models here mostly in US, then we also have some outside US. So right now we don't want to discover anything. We want to upload our own module. So to upload our own model, we will go to my models. And in my case, I have a list of models here. If you are using SWOT share for the first time, you may not see anything here. So in order to upload a model, we are going to create a new model in SWOT share. So creating a new model doesn't necessarily mean we are creating a model. We are just creating an instance where we will upload our existing model that we created using QSWOT. So there are multiple options here. You can either browse or just drag and drop your input zip files. So this is what we will do. I will minimize this window and then I will open my Windows Explorer where I have my zip file and then I will just select that cedar underscore SWAT and drop it here. And depending on the size of your zipped file, 
and your internet connection this may take a while so in my case it will be done soon and upload is complete so now it is checking for all the necessary files then it will create all the necessary files it needs for visualization and finally it will extract all the key metadata associated with it so you can see we created this for cedar creek and swatshare extracted our subbasin file and mapped it properly on the us map and this is what we see it also extracted all the other metadata that it could extract so for example for runoff calculation we used curve number for flow routing we used variable storage for evapotranspiration we used penman monteith we used daily rainfall data we ran the model at daily time step this is the watershed area these are the number of subbasins we have these are the number of hrus what SWOT version was used so very detailed metadata including how long our simulation was so we ran simulation from 2004 to 2010 in module 8 and it says warm up period equal to zero so this is all the metadata that the program extracted for us but there are there are other fields where we have to provide some information so we have to provide description and there is a guide here on what you can write so for example in this case we can write a short description saying that this model was created for a hydrology class by you can write your name in my case i will write my name and then we can say for cedar creek watershed in indiana this model is uploaded for auto calibration and you can write as much as you want so we will just write a short description here and then it says if you want you can also write the simulation period or calibration period so you can do that contributors who has contributed in creating this model so in this case i created this model so i just write my name as i mentioned earlier swatshare is a collaborative platform so if you have more people that contributed in creating or setting up this model you can list their names keywords so if somebody wants to search for a model and want to use your model you can use some keywords that will help find your model so we can say cedar creek we can say we want to run this model for hydrology application if you want to use it for water quality or something else you can do that then you can also say auto calibration so if somebody wants to search a calibrated model that will help that um, so just use what information you want to put in this keyword so people can find your model easily watershed name it is cedar creek in indiana usa and we are uploading this model because we want to calibrate it so it gives us options what do you want to do we do not want normal simulation we want auto calibration so we'll pick that DEM resolution if you remember we use 30 meter DEM we know in my case it was USGS DEM so NLCD we used NLCD 2011 so if you don't see that here you can say other and then say NLCD 2011 our data source was starts go to so if you don't see that you can either pick starts go or you can pick other and say starts go to model objective hydrology additional info so SWOT is a very comprehensive model so if you have created a model for agricultural 
management or any other purpose you can include that here by checking these boxes but in this case we don't need to worry about that is it already published no is it calibrated no is the output included yes so we have the output because we simulated the model and then once you provide all this metadata you can create your model and if you miss any information it will ask you you are missing something so model name was not provided so this is providing an identity so cedar creek indiana and you can see i'm not using any special characters or spaces so i will just use an underscore here and then say create model and new model has been created as i mentioned earlier swat share allows you to also visualize so we can explore some of the visualization capabilities in this unit and in the next unit we will see how to run the auto calibration option so we want daily if you remember in module 8 we looked at the reach outflow so we'll pick reach daily is fine next And when you do this for the first time, it may take a little longer than usual. So just be patient. And you can see we have all the variables similar to what we saw in QSWAT. So we'll plot our flow out cubic meter per second. And then it gives all the metadata here on top. Once you pick one variable, you can draw plot. And you can see how quick that was. If you want to include multiple let's say we want to also see evaporation draw plot and it will give that so you can have multiple variables plot so that is how the temporal visualization is so if we go back and let's say if you want to look at spatial visualization at the sub basin scale next and so let's pick a variable so we are looking at january 1st to january 5 so just five days for now so let's say we want to look at precipitation map you pick a variable and then click on draw plots And now you can see there is a button here that will let you run through the time steps. So it looks like we did not have any rainfall in those five days. Let's see if we have potential evapotranspiration and say draw plots. And you can see we have potential evapotranspiration map for those five days even though it is not changing much so the idea here is to show you how you can use the spatial and temporal visualization in SWOT share you can also see there is a download button here so you can either download your output data that you are visualizing here as a zip file or a csv file so for time series data we can download a csv file similar to what we did with QSWAT so we'll go back and we can now go to home now if you go to my models you should be able to see your model here by going to your list so we just created cedar creek indiana we looked at visualization so discovery is a way to discover so if you want to search your own model now you can search cedar creek and you can see I have created a lot of models for Cedar Creek. So I see that. So if you want to look for other watershed Wabash or so you can see there is an upper Wabash. So this is a simple basic search. And the other thing you want to also look at is whether the model is public or private. So when we created our model, we made it public so you have an option of making your model private in that case you can only share with people that you know and others will only see it but they will not be able to access it 
so there is a public private option also when you share and upload your model in SWOT share so in this case what we did was we learned how to upload a model on SWOT share and in order to do that you need to have a my geo hub account and we looked at some basic visualization functionality we looked at discovery and if you go to home this is what you see in the next unit we will learn how to use the auto calibration option in SWOT share to calibrate a SWOT model so this is it for this unit and you don't have to save anything it's all saved on mygeohub.org